Good afternoon, everybody. I hope I don't talk too fast for you guys, because when I get nervous, I talk fast. So first of all, I've been asked to tell to you about what the role of TANF program is. But um, th I know this isn't interactive, but I just wanted to um, do a quick question. How many of you out there actually have a TANF program, if you could raise your hand, so we know if you understand what TANF is? So for you, those that, that don't have a TANF program, that's um, welfare. It used to be the old AFDC program, which is now Temporary Assistance to Needy Families. And what's great about TANF for tri tribal programs is you can pretty much, as long as you follow the federal guidelines, you can write your program to meet the unique needs of your reservation. You don't have to stick to uh, the normal scenario that the um, counties have for our people. You could tailor it to your needs. Um, for example, the role that TANF is playing in Round Valley is California is a very expensive state to live in. I mean, every place is expensive to live in, but California is really expensive to live in. My reservation is the closest town is an hour and a half away where there's a large workforce at. We used to be logging. Now we're having to go to our natural resources. So we're trying to grow our people. And through TANF, a lot of them still have to drive out of the valley to get there, but a lot of them are over the 125% poverty rate guideline. So what we did, what you can do through TANF is you can create your own definition of needy. And we made our definition of needy so that we could help the working poor because the goal is to move them out of poverty, but a lot of jobs are still keeping our people in poverty that they're in. So we need to give them the job skills and we also continue to help them once they attain those job skills to continue to move forward. We've actually made our definition of needy so that we can help our working poor of 250%. So that makes you eligible for all four purposes of TANF. And that way we can, even if you don't get a cash assistance grant, you will be eligible to get the, um, the clothing incentive, the educational incentive. So how we're helping move our people forward or, and develop our workforce is we can pay for tuition. Like a lot of other programs are getting cut. Of course, TANF dollars are hard to spread out, but at the same time, you can do a lot with your dollars. We pay for tuition. Um, we can pay for you to go to beauty college. We can pay for you to go to the university. We pay for you to get a nursing degree. The first thing we do when you bring you on the program is we do an assessment to see where you're at, if you're ready assessment, and then see what your barriers are to employment. And then we help you remove those barriers. We can be quite inventive with the TANF program, as long as it stays under the four purposes of TANF. And so we have a, at Round Valley Tribal TANF, we have the subsidized employment program that we currently do. I currently have over nine people placed in positions in the tribal organization so that we can develop their job skills, their life skills, their hard skills, and their soft skills. And then we also, you can adjust your net income too under your definition of needy. Instead of going gross income, we have now decided to go net income so that we can help more people and with, of course, the standard deductions placed in there. And so we um, incur, and then we encourage them to go to, um, we pray for their schooling. And then of course, like the, um, the lady on the end, Arlene said, our program is also mandatory attendance. Um, we require a 90% attendance to be on our program. And if you don't have a 90% attendance, we don't kick you off right away. But what we will do is we'll work with you to work with the school to bring you back up and get you back into the education system because all the programs are coming about to break the second generation cycle. That, that's the way that HHS and ACF and them are all looking at where they're going with all this is they want, um, say if a mom is on ASC, um, TANF right now, they don't want the child to be on TANF. So the goal is to break that second generation by promoting job education and training. So we actually even provide an incentive to our youth that go to school. They can get a quarterly incentive. If you get a 4.0, you can get $100 from us. If you get a 3.0, you get $75. You can get it up to five times a year. The kids really enjoy that. Plus we give them clothing and um, to go to school. And that's also a 90% attendance, and we check your attendance regularly. And I myself sit on the SARB committee for our school where um, we track their attendance, um, and then we sit there and talk to them so they can't um, tell lies to the school. We're sitting right there so we know what's going on with them too, and we try to encourage them to stay in school because the goal is to get an education so that you can go to college, and then you'll come back hopefully with skills and knowledge, and we're growing our workforce now so that we can um, have a skilled workforce by providing um, the helping them get their education and obtain their education by support services. If your car breaks down, we help you fix your car because we, we know that you need to get to work. If you don't got a washing machine or dryer, we buy you a washing machine and dryer. 
under the auspice that so the kids can be ready for school, you can be ready for employment, you feel good about yourself. We're trying to empower and do self-sufficiency. It's all about self-sufficiency and everybody has to work. We encourage people to work. You have to do a minimum of 20 hours a week on our program. And some of those are, since we're pro-family activities, you can do 10 hours of family maintenance and then the other 10 hours have to be towards self-sufficiency. So you can tailor your program to meet the unique needs of your tribal membership. So we're always encouraging other tribes, if you don't have one, please start a tribal TAN. If I know that seems ironic, but at the same time, during sequestration, tribal TANF dollars weren't hit. And we, we were able to um, help provide a lot of services out there that the other programs could no longer provide. And then with the Workforce In Innovation Opportunity Act, we'll be closely working with them because the state's TANF programs are required to work with um, one-stop programs. We are currently already working with a small one-stop program in our valley, we do, I'm part of a collaboration where we get together with all the other entities in the valley to figure out how can we develop our um, membership and the whole community in general to make it a thriving community. So we get together and do different activities um, that aren't just TANF, that's why we have other collaboration entities because more than just TANF clients are part of the community. So we try to um, reach out and hit all the um, community members by collaboration. And then Round Valley, actually, besides TANF, to um, develop its workforce, we have, um, similar to what this gentleman has done, our housing crew has created a workforce crew where they've developed the skills, they've hired, we have a licensed contractor on, and then we've hired some of our own tribal membership, and they're building our houses for us. Rather than having other contractors come out, we have developed the skills of our tribal members, and they build our houses. They have built over 25 of our houses now, and so they're gaining those skills. So if HUD dollars were um, run out, then they can move on and they have skills where they can work outside of our valley. We also have the AmeriCorps grant right now. We have 15 positions and for the, the young workers and we're trying to develop them so they can develop a lot of skills. We have our own gas station now too that we are placing, um, we have some jobs at. We have a casino which is a small casino. It's a class two and that's four jobs, just four jobs. And then we have our own hotel that now we just purchased about two years ago that we place people at for um, on the job training and work experience. We have our natural resource department that we place people at. So right now where I currently have some subsidized employment positions at is at our housing authority. We have some there. We have one at an administration department. We have one at EPA and water. We have a person placed in the court system learning all about that. We have a person placed in Indian Child Welfare Program. So they're learning all these skills that are necessary in our community and they can move on to get a job after they're done with their on-the-job training, subsidized employment. So that's where Round Valley's going at with that. I just encourage everybody, if you don't have a TANF, please get a TANF so you can utilize the services. We'll eventually be working a work experience um, program into our um, program where you'll be, um, it's like, Owens Valley over here, part of our TANF task force, I'm gonna be um, modeling what they do is 14 weeks prior to it, you do job training, you do soft skills, life skills, hard skills, combination of things. And then after you're done and you complete that, we'll find a position to place you in where we'll give you an incentive stipend at the end of it where it won't even affect your grant, you'll still get your grant, plus you get the incentive where it incentivizes them to go to work while they learn the skills and plus they start liking the money and they want to, um, to help themselves out more. And that's what our thoughts are on that. So we can, we'll continue to develop it and then we'll also be working in a work experience for youth because you can write work experience in there, in your plan for youth also because a lot of the youth funding is being cut, especially even in the Workforce Innova Innovation and Opportunity Act, there's not gonna be a lot of monies in there for our youth, unfortunately. And to break the second generation cycle, we do need to show them Work, help them develop their work skills young and um, the importance of an education. So we'll hope to do all that by developing them into our um, family, our plan for tribal TANF. I think that's all I, I got.